Marketing Tech Blog. <laughs> I, there's, a, there's a, you know, one of those deal sites, and uh, they had bubble lenses for the iPhone, and, yeah. and, 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 and they were for one-tenth the price. So, wow. so I bought like six of them. I bought them for each person in the office. So, um, yeah, <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> it is pretty cool. Look, I am going to give you guys three just incredible tools that I came across. Uh, awesome. and, and I, I love tool discovery. So the first one, everybody listening is going to thank me for it. And it's called Calendly. C A L E N D L Y. Yeah. So uh, if anybody knows me, they they know that a long time ago I used to use this app called Tungle. Right. And it was basically when you asked me if you hey Doug you want to get coffee, I would just send you a link and you would find time on my calendar and click it and request that. Right. Well, Tungle was bought by BlackBerry and BlackBerry doesn't know what it's doing, so it went away. <laughs> Oh, and a and a couple of replacements came up on the web, and they just stunk to high heaven. Mm-hmm. Calendly, which is free right now mm-hmm. and very early, is beautiful. It works on a mobile device, everything else. So if you go to like calendly.com slash Doug, you could request a meeting with me right then and there. Half day consulting, full day consulting, uh, you know, whatever you want. And, um, and it's integrated directly with my calendar. So you can see the time slots. You can see everything. You can ask wow. a question on it. So I'm asking a question like, are you willing to come down to our office? You know, things yeah, like that. Yeah. Or what number can I reach you at? It, it is absolutely beautiful. So check it out, Calendly. So anybody that just wastes time all day asking, well, are you, how's your Thursday afternoon? And then you <laughs> go back and forth five times. Oh, maybe I don't want them to see my calendar. Yeah, yeah. Get Calendly. All you right. can set buffers before and after. It's it's just cool. They, they did a fantastic job. What's next? It. So next one is Typeform. Um, if you've ever taken a survey online, it sucks, right? The yep. typical, you know... 13 questions and click, 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 and this and that and the other. Type form, your fingers never have to leave the keyboard. So they ask you questions, and you just sit there and write and hit enter, and the next huh. question comes up. And it's a beautiful kind of survey tool huh. that makes it a lot easier and quicker and a little more entertaining for people to, cool. to do surveys. And it's responsive as well, which is uh, a big thing because um, most survey tools are not. Right. And then the last one, um, I suck. I You're fantastic at, like, illustration and Photoshop and, and stuff like that. Thank you. Um, I suck at it. <laughs> now, now, here's the thing, though. If you gave me something that was half way there, yeah. I can get it all the way. I understand where your vision was going, everything right, else. Right, right, right. But I... I cannot look at a blank screen to save my life and make, let's say, a banner right. or um, an advertisement or an invitation or anything else. Right. Check this out. Huh. So Canva, C-A-N-V-A. Yeah. What they've done is kind of made a stock site where designers upload banner designs, backgrounds, this, that, the other thing, and all the styles are preset and everything. And you... Oh, wow. Take the beautiful illustrations and photos that other people have done and just drag and drop them into your own thing. They have thousands of fonts. They have everything. Oh, wow. And so th- so what it takes away is you get a beautiful design right. without having you know to, to be a really good designer. Um, huh. So imagine like the days of publisher. Oh. <laughs> You know, yeah. terrible clip art, you know, but imagine just awesome having an awesome clip art, you know, to make your own banner, to mm-hmm. make your own button. But it's already set up. It's all set you're, up. You're almost, you just drop in some of the content, some of the things. You already have a layered series of elements. That's exactly wow. it. And I it's, like and yeah, it's a, just a beautiful idea. And for designers, of course, they can upload their stuff to it and, and, and everything else and, and really take off. Very cool. Um, so those are the three tools that I wanted you to look at. The next one, uh, we had kind of a sensible social media list. Uh, check it out, an infographic. Mm-hmm. And then um, you're going to see a, an email that I got mm-hmm. from an SEO <laughs> spam company. Basically, a, a typical email that yep. came in that said, hey, you know what? We noticed that your site, the marketing tech blog, it doesn't really rank well. Oh you we know, got the same thing. thing. Yeah. And so we... I took, and I was so upset that I just ripped apart the letter. But the problem is, is sometimes our clients do get these notes and, and they get concerned because it's a well-written letter that says, 
hey, you know what? We analyzed your site, and uh-huh. it doesn't rank well. We get it called to the carpet every once in a while, going, what does this mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and so you start ripping it apart, and you say, okay, well, what's the name of the company? Right. Uh, it's a Gmail address. It's a Gmail address. You know, what's the, where don't I rank? Mm-hmm. You don't know my business. Right, right. You know, you, you don't have a clue where I rank or don't rank. I, our site ranks on hundreds of number one. So, yeah. so the, the, you know, this SEO thing is, is uh, it's <laughs> a danger point. You know, I think, I think the, the great thing that you have to pay attention to, if you're going to hire an SEO company, mm-hmm. like a site strategics, is you have to make sure that they're watching all the way downstream on where dollars are going. Yep. And if you get someone that just comes to the door, knocking on the door, saying, hey, we do SEO and we can improve your ranking, right. close the door. No, what absolutely. you need is someone that says, how do you, how am I going to improve business? And, and I don't understand organic search. And I don't understand how it fits into my email strategy, my video strategy, my mobile strategy. Right, right, you know, right, right. like uh, site strategics. So 